In times of world crisis and domestic political strife, it seems only natural that people will do everything in their power to ensure the safety and comfort of their families first and foremost. If Polish history has taught us anything, it's that Poles have lived through many crises, numerous wars, partitions, and then communist rule and martial law. They're a hardy bunch. So how are they faring in modern times with a crisis situation? Well, actually quite well, following the restrictions that the Polish government has put in place to limit the spread of coronavirus. We've witnessed some top behavior with streets emptying due to people self-isolating at home and standing two meters apart in shopping queues, a classic Polish pastime, went out to buy some essentials. Paradoxically, despite the overall well-behaved approach of the ongoing situation, we've also witnessed the irrational panic buying of toilet paper. Yes, we've all seen the videos on YouTube and Facebook of people irrationally buying toilet paper and commentators have been trying to rationalize such behavior. So what gives? In times of crisis, are some people inclined to stock up on toilet paper in preparation for the seemingly impending shit mageddon? Actually, it's down to human psychology. Stocking up on anything gives us the impression that we're doing something in light of the situation. There's also an element of maintaining a stock of products we've become accustomed to, all in order to remain comfortable. In short, all this panic buying is a bit of a coping mechanism. With toilet paper in recent days disappearing from shop shelves almost faster than you can shout, nobody panic. At one point, restrictions had to be introduced to limit the quantities purchased per person. In the midst of this pandemonium, many in Poland compared the current runs on toilet paper to the shortages experienced during the communist era, when there were real shortages of everything. But is this a fair comparison? Well, in short, no. There are definitely no shortages of toilet paper in Poland. And once we look at some stats, all this panic buying seems a little bit silly. In the year 2000, Poland produced 116,000 tonnes of toilet paper. Fast forward to 2018, when the country produced 393,000 tonnes, while incomplete figures for 2019 show a further increase annually. This is way more than the country possibly needs. In fact, Poland is currently the fourth biggest exporter of toilet paper in the EU. In 2018 alone, it sent 109.7 thousand tonnes of toilet paper abroad. That's behind France with 115.5 thousand, Italy with 128.5 thousand, and Germany in number one position with 221.9 thousand tonnes. So the fear may seem irrational given some hard facts, but emotion can get in front of rational thinking, especially with the precedent of shortages that were experienced in Poland during the communist era, which are still within living memory. Thanks to these shortages, even the most basic products, specifically toilet paper, became rare luxury products. And that's an insult to the word luxury, as the bog roll back then was awful coming in various unappealing forms, hard and coarse like sandpaper, or thin, weak, and practically disintegrating upon touch. Not very helpful. And when there was no toilet paper at all, good old newspaper had to suffice. It was genuinely that bad during the communist era, with the average pole being able to use only about seven rolls of toilet paper per annum. That's about a metre of toilet paper a day. Today, despite consumer paranoia, the shelves can be restocked fairly quickly. But imagine having to stand for hours in a shopping queue on a daily basis. That's a reality that Poland had to accept for decades. Getting to the end of the queue was rarely a pleasure, as the shop shelves were often empty of many worthwhile products, let alone toilet paper. Therefore, if you did manage to get your hands on some rare rolls of paper, you were in luck. People walking around with rolls of toilet paper proudly strung around their shoulders became iconic images of the time. And it seems bizarre, but being adorned with such a string of toilet paper was seen as a bit of a status symbol. Whereas today, show-offs might wear some extravagant jewellery like a gold chain. Thankfully, those horrid days of shortages and rewardless queuing are over. Despite current fears, there is no lack of products in the shops. And with toilet paper, there's no storm coming. 
so everyone can rest easy that they will be able to buy any variety they want with lovely fragrances, designs and soft textures. You're in a much better situation today than Poland was just over 40 years ago. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in more content on Poland, please head to inyourpocket.com or check out one of our city Facebook pages. We'll see you next time.